Welcome back to the channel, Patriot Nation. Thanks for tuning in for another episode from the channel. Today we're talking about the ammo shortage and some good news moving forward. So I was in my local big box store the other day looking for ammunition like most of us do and to my surprise the shelves were full of ammunition. Back here is one of the pictures that you see from the shop that I went to visit and boy was there ammunition. There was 9mm, there was 223.556, uh, there was 40 cal, there was 45, everything that we could be looking for was there. I figured man I just got lucky. I caught it, there was a truck that came in, I was able to get ammunition, they were limiting it to two boxes per person, but I was able to pick some up and I was excited. A couple days go by, come back to the store not expecting anything, went by the ammo aisle just to check it out anyway, and man, there was more ammunition on the shelves. And not just what they had, but a restock of what they had, plus additional manufacturers. So this is a good sign, guys. Manufacturers are starting to meet the demand and supply it to the civilian sector. Now, the prices are even starting to come down a bit. I'm seeing 9mm as little as 30 cents a round for some target ammunition and as much as 80 cents a round for the personal defense stuff. But for regular range ammunition, I'm seeing it around 40 cents. So this is a good sign for us when we're able to go in one week's time twice to these stores and pick up ammunition. Now I'm going to share with you guys a little ammo haul that I got just to give you guys some encouragement looking forward. Alright guys, so taking a look at what I was able to purchase in two separate trips, I'm going to go down the line here just to talk about the ammunition and the price for each box. So starting off with the Monarch here, we got the 762 by 39 lacquer coating, 123 grain full metal jacket, Box of 20, this stuff was going for about 35 cents a round, so about $7 a box. Good stuff. Then moving on, we have the Monarch 123 green hollow points. This is the polymer coated steel case stuff, just like the other. There you go with the hollow point. This stuff was running about the same price, $7 a box, 35 cents a round. Uh, very surprising, um, but very uh, excited to get the Blazer. Now this is aluminum case. This is 115 grain full metal jacket. But guys, this stuff for training ammunition, you can't beat the price. 50 rounds, you're getting a box for $15. That's about 30 cents a round for 9mm. Yes, it is training ammunition, not brass. But for 30 cents a round, man, we hadn't seen that in quite some time. And then of course, Good old standard stuff, the Remington Arms Military and Law Enforcement Training Division Ammunition, 115 grain, full metal jacket, brass ammunition, $22 a box, guys. Down quite a bit at $0.44 cents a round, way down from, I think it was $0.80, $0.90 cents a round for this stuff. And then, of course, the... Uh, personal self-defense ammunition was way over a dollar. So pretty excited to see this stuff back on the shelves, guys. That's looking good for us. And uh, I am ready to get some range time in. So there you have it. There's my ammo haul for the week. Hopefully it's been encouraging to you to see ammo on the shelves at a more consistent basis. So get out there, get you some ammunition, get to the range, and get some training in. Until next time, train smart, be safe, and stay prayed up. Still shot, signing out.